Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord, you're welcome to Sunday, the 19th day of May, 2024. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is preservation by the knowledge of God's Word. The Bible tells us, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8, 32. Thought for the day. In life, your preservation or safety is tied to what you know from the Word of God. We once heard a story some years ago where there was a terrible turbulence in the air during a flight. The turbulence occurred during a flight from America to Australia. Everyone on board the flight was trembling in fear. However, there was a man who sat all alone by himself in the aircraft and he crossed his legs unperturbed. He was even whistling joyfully as he sat. Every other person got confused at his action and his calmness. And so someone asked him, everyone in the aircraft is afraid and shaking because of the turbulence, but you are calmly seated and whistling. Why are you not afraid? And the man said, if you know what I know, you won't be shaking. The most interesting thing was that this man was not even a Christian. The man continued, at the corner of this aircraft, there is a man seated there. His name is Billy Graham. He is also a passenger on this aircraft. Since he is here, this aircraft cannot crash. That was the secret of the man. That was the secret he knew. He did not use his own faith because he was not even a believer. He was trusting God to deliver him on the basis of another person's faith. In life, your preservation of, or safety is tied to your knowledge of the Word of God. Success in life is a product of what you know. And in the same manner, failure in life is a product of what you do not know. This is the reason why ignorance is a potential weapon of the devil. What you know is what you can show. The dignity of your life and destiny is tied to what you know. Therefore, make up your mind to go for knowledge, the knowledge of God, the knowledge of His Word, and the knowledge of who you are. Remember this, in life, your preservation or safety is tied to what you know from the word of God. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to go for the light of knowledge and refuse to live in the darkness of ignorance. Number two, spend time with God's word to know him and his purpose for your life. Let's pray. Say, Lord, I ask that you deliver me from the bondage of ignorance. I receive the grace to spend time with your word, to gain knowledge and understanding. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. I'd like to pray with somebody today. You'd like to be born again. You want Jesus to become the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I welcome you into my life. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you because I know I'm now born again. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. I believe God heard that prayer and the Lord has answered. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. And I'd like to close by wishing you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget to go to your Bible you're reading. We are reading the book of Psalms now. And I know that you are gleaning a lot of light and insight and revelation. And you can't remain the same in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.